We've all seen those little social media things. Some people call them social media pop-ups, some people call them sponsor banners. It's basically a slideshow of all your tags. Now, if you're looking for a quick tutorial on how to do it super fast, this is not the tutorial for you because I'm gonna show you how to make them for free, how to set them up with stream elements, and how to add them to your broadcasting software or recording software. So if you use OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS to live stream, this tutorial is for you. But right before we start, we all know that in order to become a successful Twitch streamer, you have to basically post your content elsewhere on social media and advertise your stream. And this is where today's sponsor comes in handy. This video is sponsored by Combo. Combo is a platform that allows you to save time editing your Twitch clips. It really makes the process of turning your Twitch clips into Instagram or TikTok or YouTube Reel clips super easy. Now you might be thinking, okay, there's dozens of other services that do the same thing. Not really. The thing with Combo is that it connects with your Twitch account, giving you access directly to your Twitch clips. So you don't need to download and re-upload to another website. Another amazing feature is that the first time that you're going to use it, you're going to have to select your camera and then select your footage, but then you can actually save it as a template. So next time you want to edit your clip, you just click your preset and then export. They even have that extra feature that allows your edited clips to be automatically posted to your Discord server. You can go ahead and check it out, try it out at joincombo.com. That is joincombo.com. All right, so for a social media pop-up, the first step is creating the design. And we're gonna be using PhotoP. The cool thing with PhotoP is that it's free. I like calling it PhotoPia, so I'm probably gonna be calling it PhotoPia along this video, okay? Don't correct me. Okay, so you go to photop.com and the first thing you see is create a new project. Right now, we don't know what size is going to be, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to create a 1080p canvas. So I'm going to go to DPI, put 300 because that's a high DPI. It's going to make your stuff look HD. And then you can go 1920 by 1080. Okay. Nice. Create. Boom. So this is basically your full canvas. Now you're going to select the rectangle tool and pretty much guesstimate uh, the size of your sponsor banner. It would be something like that. Remember, you'll be able to resize it later. So this looks cool. I'm going to let go of my mouse. I'm going to select the crop tool by clicking C and then I'm going to crop, crop my own canvas. I'm not going to crop. I'm going to crop my own canvas to be this size. Press enter. And this is my canvas. Now hold alt and roll your mouse in order to zoom in. Now we're gonna delete our shape because we don't need it anymore. And we are going to decide what graphic style right now, but I'll, let, I'll leave that up to you. Now we still have the rectangle selected, but I want a rounded rectangle. Cool thing here is that I can select the corner radius and I'm gonna go with the rounded edges, but still a kind of hard surface. So it's not gonna be flat. I'm gonna try to make it look cool, basically. All right, 35. Uh, you can put in your own input. There you go. Okay, that's cool. Now we're going to double click on the icon near next to the layer in order to pick the actual background. Boom, I like that. So now we need a spot where the icon, the social media icon is going to be. I'm going to select an ellipse, basically a circle. <laughs> and I'm going to drag and then I'm going to hold alt which is going to help me create a perfect circle. I'm going to try to center it, make it kind of match this outside part. You can eyeball the placement. Uh, when it comes to up and down, you can hold control, click on the icon near the first shape. And then since you have this move tool, you can click up here to center vertically. Boom. Now your round is centered. Press control D to deselect and then double click on this. This is kind of closer. We don't want something realistic, but we're going to make this a little lighter. OK, click OK. And now we're going to add some effects to make it like a little bevel. So bevel and emboss. So you click on the layer and then you click on effects and then you go bevel and emboss. All right. Put it aside so you can see the effect. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can really see the effects. There you go. Now there's all types of bevel. My favorite when it comes to that type though is going to be pillow and boss because it's outside and also inside. We're gonna make the size uh, super small. We're working with a very, very small canvas here. One is enough uh, depth. This is basically how harsh you want it to be. I like it to be kind of in the middle and then you can play with the opacity of basically the lighting. You can also put the technique and put it chisel hard or chisel soft. And you can soften it a little bit. I think I'm going to do that like that. OK, I'm going to lower the opacity here and I'm going to keep this just fine. Another thing that I want to do is add a stroke. Stroke needs to be one pixel. 
and we're going to pick a color. This is basically where we're going to pick uh, whatever your color scheme is. This is where you would pick it, right? Because the social media icon, I'm going to keep them white. I could change the color, but we're, we're imagining that you already have a color scheme and a graphic style that matches this. And this is what we're going for. All right, let, let's make it glow a little bit. Okay, outer glow. Boom. And we can just color pick. If it lets me color pick, where? how do I color pick in this? Oh, I just click, I guess. And I can go there and pick something similar. Like that. And you can make it a little bigger with the size. But lower the opacity. By a lot. You, all, you can also add an inner glow, but like we're exaggerating right now. We're doing too much. We're doing too much. I like it though. All right, boom. Lower it, that opacity. It looks good. Okay, click OK. And now you're pretty much good. We can add another um, bevel to the background. Let's go to effects, bevel. I put stroke, can turn it off, bevel. This time I want an inner bevel because, you know, I have my limits here. And uh, chisel, hide. All right, we can turn on the opacity for the highlight a little bit. Uh, lower the one for the shadow and we're good we don't need to make it complicated all right basic stuff so far so good now a little thing that i love doing is like adding little details and i'm gonna duplicate this circle basically i'm gonna go Control alt t to open up the transform tools and i'm going to hold shift and alt in order to make it super duper small hold space for the hand tool to move around and then I'm going to press enter to confirm the, the shape. OK, I'm going to press control A in order to select everything. And I'm going to center this in the middle of my canvas, basically. So center horizontally. OK, so now it should be centered. Where is it? There you go. Control D to deselect. And this is like extra detail. You know, I shouldn't even be showing you. This is industry secrets. <laughs> Not really. All right, and we're going to duplicate this a couple times more. I'm going to hold alt on my keyboard this time and just drag and drop. I'm going to hold alt on my keyboard again, drag, hold shift in order for it to, you know, to keep the distance. And I'm going to kind of eyeball it because this is not showing me any guides. There you go. So boom, you created a little futuristic looking thingy and uh, it's nice. Now, all you need is your social media icon or and your text. I was going to say all your text, but whatever. Social media icons, you can find them everywhere. You want to you want the Twitter logo, you type Twitter logo. Boom. You can make sure it's a PNG. If it's not a PNG, um, for example, this is a PNG. This is not a PNG. Well, this is not a transparent PNG, at least. This is transparent. Uh, this is transparent. Yours might look a little brighter than this. I just have my Google uh, to be weird, but I already have those in stock because, you know, your boy is a graphic designer. I do this all the time and there it is. OK, so let's start with tw with Twitch. Actually, let's start with Twitch. Where do I have a Twitch logo right there? I'm going to drag and drop it. Boom. Where is it? and drop please don't mess up my whole thing it didn't mess up my whole thing cool now it's at the bottom i'm gonna drag it all the way up so i can see it cool now remember when i said hey i want this thing to be white it's fine we're gonna take care of that but right now i need to select the circle i'm gonna hold control boom put this and make sure that this is in the middle so with twitch selected now i'm gonna center horizontally and vertically control d to deselect control alt t to transform, hold alt and shift to keep the proportions. And just like that, boom. If you want to show your Twitch, let's say you're doing this for YouTube. If you're doing this for Twitch, you don't need the Twitch logo, but at least you learn. Okay, cool. Now, as an effect, I'm going to add a color overlay. Boom. And I'm going to make this white. Cool thing is I'm going to be able to duplicate this thing for the rest, right? And now we're going to select our text tool. Boom. It's the big T here. And we're going to type our name make sure that your color is you know readable and technically i should be able to type some text my text look horrible so what i can do is switch the font i like that you can also play with the size right here you can also control alt t or you can 
yeah control alt t to transform it this looks okay i would love i would love to have more control over my my text there you go and here i'm gonna have uh more tracking tracking is the distance between the letters more tracking and a little small just in case i have an at that is bigger okay uh, make sure paragraph wise this is the middle just so that when you type something else it will be centered and boom this looks pretty decent technically you could stop here of course you can add some more effects to the to the text if you wanted to you can even duplicate all the effects that you have to that circle for example right here i'm, I'm gonna hold alt and drag and drop it to this and this is what the text looks like actually this looks <laughs> this already looks better so we're gonna keep it like this I really love complicated stuff, so let's create more. I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna control and click on that background. And I'm gonna pick my brush tool. And I just wanna create some more blue. I wanna add more blue. Okay, I'm gonna get my size super wide. I'm gonna get my opacity super low. And there we go. That looks a little bit better. I can lower the opacity of this if I wanted to. It will be here in the layer thingy. So if, I, if you don't like it, you don't have to do that part. But remember, I will make this available. I will have like a blank one. All you will have to do is add the logo and then the text or just the text. I will also put the ones with the logos here. And uh, technically you're done. Let's turn off the background so we can have a transparent background and export. Export as PNG. It's gonna give you the correct size, quality, blah, 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 cool, click save. And boom, now you have your own image. You created a, a banner. I'm gonna do some more just to show you as an example. I'm gonna add some more and then, uh, and then we'll come back here. Actually, I'm probably gonna add the same effect to the actual logos too. Okay, now that we have our images, what do we do with them? We're gonna go to Stream Elements. If you're looking for tutorials on how to do this with Streamlabs, for example, if that's your service, um, if that's your service provider when it comes to alerts and widgets and all of that, I, I accidentally opened up Streamlabs. I meant to open up Stream Elements. I already have a video on Streamlabs, okay? It's called uh, How to Make Sponsor Banners. All right, let's go to our dashboard. So log in with your Twitch account if that's what you're gonna use it for or YouTube account if that's what you're gonna use it for. Go to Streaming Tools, My Overlays. Now you can add that to your already pre-existing overlay or you can create a new one. I'm gonna be editing a new one just for the tutorial, okay? Okay, we're gonna click Add Widget and we're gonna find Static slash Custom and we're gonna find where it says Asset Rotator slash Slideshow because that's what, that's pretty much what it is, okay? And then top here it's gonna say Asset. And we're going to go ahead, as you can see, I already have a couple of ones here and we can upload by clicking top right here, upload. We can also drag and drop, which I'm going to do just to uh, save some time. Okay. So I have four of them. EX means example, by the way, it doesn't mean old <laughs> and just wait for them to be all uploaded and we're going to have to add them one by one. So we're going to start with the Twitter. Let's click submit, boom, click add asset again, click uh, the TikTok. Okay. Those are not my actual real social media by the way i don't have i'm not fortunate enough to have them all match perfectly like that uh the twitch is real the tiktok is real that's pretty much it instagram is scale dot level and my twitter is level underscore photo anyway so as you can see already it's switching out it's showing you what it would look like now i have a five second timer where show images for what you can do is go ahead and put that whatever you want really um, that's how long they're gonna stay they are in a fade in fade out animation right now now here's the important part if you want them to stop showing for a little bit iteration po iteration pause is where you will set that up so if you want them to stop showing for two minutes you would put 120 seconds or if one minute that's 60 seconds and you will see that after the twitch after the the instagram it will disappear boom so 60 seconds from now is going to show up. I'm going to turn that off just, just so that you can see what I'm doing. But basically, that's it. You can then add that as a browser source to your OBS, which I'm going to also demonstrate a little bit later. 
okay um when it comes to the size right now we are working with 340 by 340 if you want that to be a little bit bigger we can go to position style size and style and play around with that if you want the opacity if you want to rotate it all of that animation settings it's very very important because we have fade in fade out and here again lots of uh, uh, options let's put bouncing down and the exit animation would be uh bounce up okay you can also randomize the playback you guys can't see this give me a second there you, you can also randomize the playback so it switches the order i believe a new random order is applied when the overlay loads every time basically and as you can see this is the bounce animation again if you want it to stop that is in iteration pause And this is how you make, you know, this is animated because of the transition being animated. If you want to add already like animated stuff, just keep in mind that it's going to play the whole thing. That's I tested this with an alert that I have here and it seems to play the whole thing. Basically, you see how I set it up to show images for three seconds. It's actually going to end up playing my full alert animation. You'll see. So this is it. And you can see it's longer than three seconds already. So if you're going to do this and you're going to make it like motion design, make sure you make it the exact length that you're looking for. And now it's back. There you go. So technically we would want to save here. Top right. Make sure you save everything and then click on the link to copy the overlay URL. This is what we're going to need to add it into our broadcasting software. And I'm going to show you how to do this in OBS. Actually, I'm using OBS to record right now. OK, so maybe that looks a little bit good for you. I'm going to click on the plus under my sources list. OK, and I'm going to click browser. I'm going to call this pop up. And then I'm going to just copy paste the link that I just copied right here. Now you'll see the size. You have to play around with the size so it's perfect for you. But technically, uh, it should be showing right now. This is what it looks like once you have it added. I'm going to have to enable the preview so I can see. Oh, there it is. So you can see that the size is not perfect. Remember, it was 340 by 340, so we should have put that in there. And now it's a little bit more accurate. Again, you can size it up if you want, even though you're probably going to lose quality. But uh, this is it. You created a social media pop up that you can put. I even have my little. <laughs> By the way, this alert, the follower alert here, the, if you like the animation, it is actually available to download over at gumroad.com slash guy level. I also have a video presentation on it. So this is how you can not only create, but also uh, implement your social media banner in stream elements with stream elements. That is now for you, just for you, since you've been watching for so long and you're still here. I'm going to upload, look at the links in the description. I'm going to upload a blank of all of this. Basically, I'm going to upload an image with the TikTok icon, with the Instagram icon, with all of that, and then one without any icon so that if you want to customize your own, there you go. You're going to have this plus this plus this plus that and that. I might even I might even throw in Facebook in there for people who still use Facebook. All right. Once again, I showed you how to do this with Stream Elements, but if you want to know how to do this with Streamlabs, check out my video on the subject. If you want to have access to other free social media pop ups, uh, go to gumroad.com slash guy level. I even have some that come with After Effects templates, so check them out. And the very last thing is that if you're trying to animate your gaming logos, you can get 15% off of placeit.net by clicking my link in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Go out there. Make me proud. Guy level out.